Everything else a human being will allow to be taught. But when it comes to marriage, because the devil hates marriage. Mm -hmm. That's why you become So when you are ignorant and I'm ignorant, mm -hmm. we will really have a lot of fights because you are ignorant of the word, I'm ignorant of the word. So we are going to base our teachings not on a vacuum, on tradition or copy and paste what is happening in the social media. Mm. Because the devil hates marriage. Because anytime there is a marriage, the devil knows if a husband and a wife are together, mm. this is a force that I cannot be able to defeat. Yeah, so welcome again. This is Naked and Not Ashamed Show. Mm. And we've been talking about the case of this woman who has been a very complicated marriage. Mm. And uh, uh, mom and dad and my wife here, yes. mm. uh, she has talked about they were using how to spice their marriages. Mm -hmm. One, they talked about pornography. Yes. Mm. I don't know whether using a dog was part of spicing marriage. I don't know. Mm. And then they have talked about swapping spouses whereby we come a group of men with their wives and then we exchange within a room. So that's how they think it's a way how you can spice the marriage. But from what she's saying, it never helped them. So how can we spice a marriage? <laughs> I think one of the things that a couple must understand is that uh, uh, spicing up the marriage is something that you have to invest in. Yeah. In the sense that uh, knowledge is very key. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to have knowledge and the right knowledge. Mm -hmm. And we have spoken it in our episode. Mm -hmm. We have talked about how to connect emotionally. Yeah. And we have talked about about 10 things that every couple must endeavor to do on a daily basis mm -hmm. to make sure that you're, you're emotionally connected to one another yeah. to help you in your intimacy. But when we talk about swapping, mm -hmm. it may look like it is a way of spicing, you know. but at the end of the day, it can bring a lot of uh, havoc in the sense that uh, because of feeling this part part partner is new, mm -hmm. I may opt to always have sex with this other person. And mm -hmm. we are actually committing adultery mm -hmm. because when you and, I, and us swap, <laughs> what are we doing? That is that number adultery. one is adultery. Yeah. Number two, God has never endorsed something like that mm. so it is a human creativity mm. but it is a perversion mm -hmm. because of feeling like you are bored so you want to change your partner and all that and for sure you might get excited but at the end of the day mm. uh, suppose I have a, I have a sick I have a sickness mm. I have I have for example I have uh, hepatitis B suppose I have HIV wow. you see or sexually wow. transmitted infections mm. and we have swapped mm. at the end of the day I have given you that. Mm. So for me, I would not advocate uh, swapping. Even the word of God does not talk about mm. that. And if you read in swapping, you will find that the word of God says in the book of First, Tim, First, First Corinthians 7 mm. verse 2, mm. that let every husband have his own wife, not wives. His own wife. wife. One. One. And wow. let the, the mm. wife have his own husband. So mm. the word of God removes the issue of swapping mm. because there's no way the word of god would have said own mm. it wow. would have said let the wife has as many has men as to swap uh -huh. as possible to, to stop boredom but the bible talks about own so it tells you it's only one so that one is uh would i say men men what uh, invention invention yes man's mm. perversion man mm. way of looking for pleasure mm. but it's not the right way so mm. wife swapping husband swapping doesn't work at all mm. and it can bring a lot of uh, problems and even mistrust because now when i see you when you when when i see, when you see when pastor Morena sees me with you mm. he doesn't think we are we are a son and a, and a mother you mm. think there's something we are doing we are from and vice versa we are from mm. swapping so it brings a lot of uh, mistrust and it can also bring a lot of commotion among friends mm. because now i'll go to compare him with with you mm. and you also compare you him with her you know there's a lot of comparison mm. and that one should not be encouraged in relationship and mm. especially in marriage mm. so i think swapping is not god's idea it's man's idea mm. and it is against marriage you know marriage principles because you see now you're getting out of the marriage bed mm. the word of god says in the book of hebrews 13 verse 4 mm. that marriage is honorable and let the marriage bed not to be defiled, defiled. for God will judge fornicators and adulterers. Mm. So you see now when you start swapping, you're now bringing a adultery in your bed. Uh -huh. 
you're getting that. So swapping is out of, outside God's idea. Mm. It may look fashionable, but it is not godly. Mm. Yeah. And it is very destructive. Mm. For a few moments, you may really enjoy it, but after some time, mm. it will bring a perversion mm. that will later on bring a lot of conflict. I see swapping like adultery. It is exactly adultery. Mm. So the consequences of adultery, heartbreaking, feeling that you have been betrayed, your mm. trust has been betrayed. It's the same, the same consequences will mm. happen. Mm -hmm. You need to heal because you actually sick. Mm. And for me, swapping actually is a mental condition. Mm. You are not really normal in your mind. Oh. Yeah, because why would you swap for mm. that like, reason? Like mom, uh, maybe I think a person would want to introduce uh, very extreme ways or measures mm -hmm. of introducing happiness. Mm -hmm. I think like you've always told us, there is an, a hormone responsible for happiness, mm -hmm. dopamine. Mm -hmm. So I yes. think theirs is very heightened mm -hmm. that they cannot operate on the normal scale of happiness. Yes. They have to go extra. And such people as you are saying, they are mm -hmm. really sick. Mm -hmm. And that happiness, they can only get it maybe in God. Yes. Because this is the person who will introduce threesome things mm. like threesome, mm -hmm. they introduce things like uh, EO, EO swapping or the dog, yeah. or, 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 or the things that they say, sex toys, you wear some mask, mm. and you have now to make him happy in that. That's a person who has a mental issue, mm -hmm. and their dopamine is very heightened that it cannot operate on the normal scale. Mm. And even if you crack a joke, such a person will not find it funny. Mm. Because there are people who, the, getting that state of happiness in them, it's very it's hard. Very hard. Mm. It, like a sexual pleasure is beneath their happiness. Mm. So something extra has to be and added. added. And that's a, that's a sickness. Mm. And I was trying to imagine when you said that mm. if I have sex with somebody else, yes. all the spirit that he has carried mm. is depositing in me. Yes. Now imagine as now now we are like four men mm -hmm. and four ladies. Mm -hmm. And each man has spirits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now imagine the, the, the type of exchange that's going to happen in that room. Oh, yes. And by the time we are leaving that house, in the name of pleasure, yes. by the time we are leaving that house, yes. we are different people, are exactly. Different people. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So thank you so much for commenting on that uh, swapping issue. Yes. Uh, what about uh, oral sex? What, what's, your, what's your view on the oral sex? Uh -huh. yes. wow. <laughs> they call it blow job. Yes. Blow so job. They, uh, blow job. Okay. And they call it oral sex. They call it wamlambes. Mm. It has many names. Mm. Uh, oral sex originated from pornographic materials. It, there's nowhere the word of God talks about a husband and a wife using their, their mouth, their tongue, their mouth for sex. Nowhere. Because your mouth and your tongue is not a sex organ. <laughs> it's not a sex organ. <laughs> I'm yeah. Ah. yeah, yeah. Your mouth and your tongue is not a sex it's organ, not, uh -huh. and it is important for us to understand. There is a reason why God gave every organ for its purpose. Mm -hmm. Just like you cannot use your vagina and your penis to eat and talk. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, there is nowhere in the Bible you will find uh, the Word of God telling you don't have oral sex. But through the Spirit of the Lord, the Word of God says in the book of 1 John 2, mm. verse 27, mm. that the Holy Spirit who is in you will teach you all things. Mm. You yes. don't need anybody to teach you. Mm. I don't know whether you have, once if you read it with the New Living Translation, it's very powerful. Mm. That every person who is born again, you have the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit, mm. and you are not supposed to be taught. Yeah. The Holy Spirit should teach you. Yeah. So uh, it may not be in the Bible, because maybe when the Bible was being written, they had never thought that human beings can go to that extent. Mm -hmm. And so, but by the Spirit of God, you are able to understand that this is not really right mm. also from a medical point of view and not even medical from a scientific point of view mm. medical and scientific point of view it has been known now mm. beyond any reasonable doubt that one of the major causes one of the major causes of tongue cancer and throat cancer and or fragile cancer is oral sex mm. or blowjob wow. or mm. why every person who is sexually active mm. In, the, in your lifetime, you may acquire human papilloma virus, HPV. Mm. This virus, men are the carriers. Mm -hmm. Mostly, when the immunity of a woman goes down, women are the ones who suffer. 
Well, it is the same one which is responsible for vaginal cancer, anal cancer, penis cancer, cancers involving the private part of a person. Mm -hmm. And so this human papilloma virus, its environment is either in the penis or in the vagina. Mm -hmm. But it has the affinity to love the, the cervix of a woman. You're getting that. Mm -hmm. eh? So when you lick, when you lick the, 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 the vagina of a woman mm -hmm. or you suck the penis of a man, you are removing H, HPV human papilloma virus from its environment and you are taking it to the mouth okay okay so when you change it from its environment and you take it to the mouth that's why it is causing cancer cancer of the tongue and cancer of the throat and also cancer of the base of the tongue the orophageal and so uh, for me i would not advocate your sex you that blow job it may look pleasurable even their couples who practice it they find even a lot of pleasure in it in fact they get even offended that their partner has not sucked them and licked them but from a medical point of view and from a scientific point of view mm. even right now if you google mm. does hpv cause throat cancer and tongue cancer it's going to show you even with the percentage Wow. It is scientifically now proven. Mm -hmm. So I would not advocate because, as we are saying, the normal sex that God has created is good enough. Mm -hmm. You really don't have to have sex uh, from other sources just to get pleasure. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kind of that pleasure we are looking for. Heightened pleasure. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know where we... It's, it is an, mm -hmm. it's a myth. Mm -hmm. It's a mirage. You know, it's a mirage in people's mind. You want to get, apart from vagina and penis, which other one can I get? Human beings, we have a, we have a problem with the curiosity. curiosity. Wow. <laughs> so for me, blow job, I would not advocate between a husband and a wife. Mm. Because at the end of the day, if you get cancer of the tongue and the throat, uh, what are you doing? And you already have the vagina. We have already the right route to use as in marriage. So for those who do amlambes, those who do oral sex and blow job, yeah. I, would advoc I would advise them to kindly just to stop because it is not it is not hygienic just like the normal germs that protect the mouth is a fungi mm. you get the point so when you lick the, the vagina of a woman as a man you leave your you leave that normal germs normal flora let me call it normal germs mm. that protects the mouth so you find after some days your wife begins to leak out uh, a very a discharge that looks like um candied it's like maziwamala mm. it's like milk ah. that has is mm is candid you get it eh? and she begins to uh, to get a um, whitish discharge mm. even when you have sex with your wife you find on your pubic hair you have whitish things mm. that is okay. candid candidiasis it is caused by it can be caused by other the other many causes but also sucking the leaking of the of the vagina can also bring wow. sickness and also there are people who develop sores herpes mm. yeah because of leaking the whatever so for me i would say um let's do it the natural way mm -hmm. let's do it the natural way the natural way the vagina and the penis the rest of the things let's leave the mouth and the mouth to kiss mm. so mom mm -hmm. let me let me ask you maybe for for on behalf of a certain couple maybe mm. the only way they know how to lubricate themselves mm. is through that maybe warm lambes mm. or rather peer mm. blow job mm. what can we tell them should sure. they adopt the lubricants or yeah there are women naturally who are born with that condition mm -hmm. you find there are women who, among i think among a thousand women mm -hmm. there is one who doesn't produce uh, the the vaginal fluid and the problem would be the bathroom glands oh. remember inside the vagina of a woman mm -hmm. we have the bathroom glands and skins glands mm -hmm. skins mm -hmm. s k e n e s uh -huh. and badolins yeah mm -hmm. skin's glad they are the ones that are responsible during foreplay they are the ones that are supposed to wet the vagina for his for easier penetration mm -hmm. so there are women who get even conditions like people who have had chronic utis chronic uh, sexually transmitted infections you find those glads are are blocked or they are they are not able to produce the fluid as it should be if that happens and you have gone to the medical, uh, you have been checked and nothing is happening, you can use something we call KY jelly. It's a very nice, what is in the chemist pharmacy. Instead of using uh, the, your tongue, the saliva, you're not supposed to use saliva to lubricate mm. the vagina of a woman. 
Because remember, your mouth is a warehouse of so many bacteria. So when you use saliva and you put it in the vagina, she's likely to, the way the, the same smell that comes out from the mouth is the same smell you're going to experience at, down there mm -hmm. in the vagina. Because now all these bacteria, you have put them where they're not supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And so if, a, if you're a woman, you are there, you are in menopause because most of them are in menopause. Yeah. Alternatively, you may have even find people who are not in menopause, but they are, they are, they are having dryness of the vagina. I would advocate them to use KY jelly. And you find it in the pharmacy, you find it in the chemist, and you are able to use it. Just apply it five minutes prior before having sex so that there is no bruising of your vagina. But don't use the saliva. We don't advocate that. It can actually mess your the reproductive system of a woman. You've really helped a person. Mm -hmm. There is yes. a person who experienced that. Mm -hmm. She was commenting, mm -hmm. and I'm glad, Mom, you are bringing it up, that yes. saliva hasn't been the best advice for lubrication during sex. Yes. So you need to do the KY jelly. Mm -hmm. Now, we KY jelly. Yes. Yes. KY jelly. <laughs> yes. KY jelly. KY jelly. KY jelly. KY jelly. KY jelly. No, you should not do that. This water from the tap is so contaminated. You get that, eh? So they are used to it. Does he want more? Just pour cold water. Just pour as water to it. Wet. And I told, I told him, no, you don't do that. But it's because he didn't have knowledge. Because he was wondering, what can he use? Wow. The woman is so dry. They are staying 10 minutes before penetration. So, and he asked me, pastors, we have a problem. Because my wife is usually very dry. So, so what do you use? I don't have a lot of water. I Wow, you get that. Yeah. So don't people, use water. People who are going through issues, yes. actually, it's just lack of information. Mm. Lack of, lack and of that's shot. why mom is so much helping mm. to many homes. Many yes. people are just mm. getting help. Yeah, yeah it's, we keep learning. Even us, we also learn. Mm. So we keep learning, and that's why it's very important to pass this information. Thank God now the internet is available. One can actually just uh, Google. just Google and get to get that information. And at the end of the day, when you are informed, you're able to make an informed choice. Yes. So I wouldn't advocate advocate wa mulambe i wouldn't advocate for oral sex we have never done it with my husband mm. uh, for the reason that we had that knowledge wow. so you know i'm yeah. trying mm. to, to imagine mm -hmm. someone who has been like accusing mm. their partner yes mm. uh, and they are the cause of mm. Oh, the this problem. Yes, you know, you are smelling. Are you going out? Yeah, and you Thank think you. you. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah, because they don't. Exactly. Know. Because mm -hmm. you don't know. You don't know that you, yeah. your mouth mm. is, is, is not a sex organ. You mm. don't know that your tongue is not a sex organ. You are using your organs. And then at the same time, you can imagine, like for example, I just wow. imagine my husband is a pastor and uh, he has to bless people, of course, preach with the mouth, <laughs> bless people with the mouth. You get the point. Eh? Speak in tanks with the mouth, the same mouth that. <laughs> Where are you that going? There. <laughs> <laughs> the same mouth that that uh, that leaks uh, down there. So for me, I don't see it. Uh, the servant of God. The servant yeah? of God. You know. I don't, I don't see it nice. And yeah. then also around the the vagina, you see that the way the God has created a woman's reproductive system, the vagina and the anus are very close to one another. The distance between the vagina and the anus is 1.5 inch. One point, mm -hmm. very small thing. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's, in, it's a diamond. It looks like a diamond, that, mm -hmm. pla that place. So you can imagine it's like from here to here. And sometimes you go to the toilet, <laughs> you have not wiped yourself very well, mm -hmm. or you have wiped and you have cleaned, but something has been left. <laughs> <laughs> you could be leaking even fecal matter. So for me, I, 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 no, 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 I, I don't, I would not advocate. Well, the way you put it, <laughs> even if the son was doing it. Okay. There, are, there are people who fart, you know, remove that. <laughs> and, you are there. and you are there. No, oh that, that, that can be just a turn off. It's a turn and, off. And, and maybe Mumenda to date, mm. that can be a small thing. So you see. I think, I think let's not, let's yeah. just use the what normal. Was zongu, mm. was yeah. The way you just say that mm. you can't use your vagina to speak. Thank you. Or your penis to eat. Wow, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Let them serve their let own every purpose. Organ na, kuna mustiana mali ya mekasirika two mm. weeks, mm. mze waka jai mli. Mm. So, anasema, mm. maybe a pain with Zuri. Mm. Yeah. So, um, vile menini, mm. you now understand. Somebody said that uh, 
in old days, people mm -hmm. used to borrow words from the Bible mm -hmm. and use it in the world. Mm -hmm. Like the Good Samaritan. I'm a Good Samaritan. It's mm -hmm. a word borrowed from the Bible. Yeah. But nowadays, we borrow things from the world and bring mm -hmm. it in the church. Mm -hmm. Like, the, what you're saying about Omulameza and Omunyonyes, it's something that has been borrowed from pornography world. Mm -hmm. You cannot tell that it just began from a, 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 a born again couple or someone else begin. Mm -hmm. It began from somewhere very dark. Curiosity. Mm -hmm. yeah, curiosity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what, what even someone just said, let us try this. Mm -hmm. That's when you find even this anal sex, you also let us try this. Mm -hmm. And they keep on saying mm -hmm. and glorifying it. Yes. So I think we just need to stick to it. I think we just need to stick to that because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, if you get sick because of having had you know, sex through, through, through sucking, mm -hmm. sucking each other. What is it for? Mm -hmm. You'd better have the natural. And you know, mm -hmm. H. Papiroma virus, HPV, mm -hmm. HPV is the one which is responsible for, for even cervical cancer. I think we have mm -hmm. had even great people in this country mm -hmm. dying out of it. Mm -hmm. People that we renown. That is the cause of all that. That's one, it's one that affects the cervix, then it begins to spread. Mm -hmm. I think we should just avoid. Also on that, we can yeah. go down. We are not also supposed to have the forbidden sex. We are not supposed to have inner sex. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, inner sex is yeah. also not for. It is actually in the Bible. The word of God is very clear mm -hmm. in the book of First Corinthians six verse nine. Mm -hmm. The last verse says, "Even mm -hmm. sodomites mm -hmm. do not be deceived. Even sodomites mm -hmm. will not inherit the kingdom of God." Sodomites mm -hmm. are people who have sex through mm -hmm. the anus. Mm -hmm. You know the reason why people have sex through the anus is because there are nerves. There are a lot of nerves around the the inner, mm -hmm. the anus. A lot of nerves. Mm -hmm. That helps you to defecate. You get oh. that, yeah. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of nerves mm -hmm. around this sphincter muscle, mm -hmm. the, the the muscle that cuts off the poop. Mm -hmm. You know, it moves as a horror, mm -hmm. then it is cut. Mm -hmm. That muscle is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. Around it, there's a lot of nerves around mm -hmm. it, and, and and the and the blood vessels are also very many. So people get pleasure when there is penetration. But you see the way God has created it. Who gets uh, the pleasure, the man or the woman? I'm talking of. Uh, now the people who do them, who do the, the, the sodomites. It should be something like painful. It, it should be painful. That's what Even I'm saying. Those who practice that, mm. they, they say they get pleasure out of it. Can I read yes. this one? I think it is important. Mm -hmm. it, it says, mm. do you not know mm -hmm. that the unlicious will not inherit the kingdom of God? Mm -hmm. And then it gives now quite a number of categories here. Mm. Do not be deceived. Mm -hmm. Neither fornicators, mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. um, homosexuals, mm -hmm. and sodomites. The sodomites are people yes. who have inners. Even their couples, pastor, yeah. they mm -hmm. are married with their husband and a wife, mm -hmm. but they have agreed mm -hmm. to have sex through the inners. Mm -hmm. and they have done it through the vagina so much, though they want to get mm -hmm. pleasure from them. You are not supposed to have it. Mm -hmm. Because inners is not a sex organ. Mm -hmm. well, I know... Wow. I know human beings have been told to have human rights, you can do whatever you want, but the one who gave you the anus, <laughs> he, he did not give you for sexual activities. Mm -hmm. It was actually for defecation, to remove poop from inside and to come out. Even the way the muscles are aligned, are aligned, they, they, there is nothing that should come out from in, outside inside. Mm -hmm. They are aligned, they are aligned to from inside out. You're getting that. Eh? But because of what we said, the willpower of a human being, mm. that a human being can even make decisions that are against God, mm. who gave you that organ, mm. you know. So you find that most of the people have entered into sodomites. Others are, are, are also into, we can also handle also homosexuality. homosexuality. Because when we talk about homosexuality, especially being a gay, mm. you know, being a gay, it means now you, one has to go through the inners. You know, for them to get sexual pleasure. You, you, I think we can also talk about the implications because mm. you said there are those muscles there. Mm. Don't you think over time they are being loosened? Yes. And then maybe you can now begin. You can't to control. Go. Yeah. You can't con You have yeah. stool yeah. incontinent. Mm. Mm. Incontinent. You just have to. Poop has to come out because now the way it is made, it, immediately after it, you go to poop, it closes itself completely. Mm -hmm. You see now, if you keep on inserting something from inside, mm -hmm. you are weakening this muscle. So it continues opening, opening, opening. That's why you find most of the people have to use pampas. Oh, you so get that, yes. Pampas. 
pampers. Yeah, most of them, they, ha they have to use pampers because uh, after having sex, some of them will even ejaculate inside the anus. Mm -hmm. So what happens? These pumps have to leak out. Mm -hmm. Equally, what happens when you have sex with your husband and a wife? Mm -hmm. Pumps also, some, some swim and others leak mm -hmm. out. And mostly the semen. The semen is what is much. Mm -hmm. the semen is what actually comes out much. So you find at the end of the day now, since the, 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 the smell, you know, they have a, a funny smell. Mm -hmm. So you find most of them will have to put up now pampas so that they don't leak uh, from the behind and at the end of the day you know flies can also follow you because of that it's very rich in protein <laughs> the semen is very rich in protein so what people opt to do is to put pampas so that and they use very strong colognes very strong sprays you know so that you don't even know them so uh, the, the, the hassle they go through is at, in the name of pleasure and i tell you when someone has gotten into that perversion to remove them, you really don't need to condemn them. You don't need to, to whatever. You only need to show them the truth that they are destroying their body because their body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So they need to, handle, to be handled with a lot of care and love. And most of them, when you look at the, why they are doing that, you will find that they were sexually harassed or molested when they were young. Mm -hmm. You get that. There's always a reason why they are doing what they are doing. Mm -hmm. And so it, no, condemning no. them, you have not helped them. You need to understand what is the root cause of this, this habit because something must have happened. And now science has proven beyond any reasonable doubt. There was a, a, a saying that was going around that people who are homosexuals, homosexual, whether you are a woman or a girl or a, or a lady, that you have the genes.